Juno. Everybody getting off the boat. Trying to get to our shore excursions. Got to go here and find our guy. Susie Turling. She works for the National Oceanographic yeah. Atmospheric Administration and uh, she's the director and founder of JunoFlukes.org and she has created this catalog which we have an older copy on the boat. So if we get a nice little tail we're going to see if we can identify that. Uh, but uh, she actually uses the information and uh, if we can identify it and there are some new whales here this year but like this is uh, Spot Dot. Some of the whales have names all of them have numbers, but uh, if we can identify specifically that whale, we're going to try to do that. All right, the next thing that we're doing is we're going to pull a crab pot. And uh, when we pull that crab pot, we're working for it with uh, Gary Freitag. He is with the University of Alaska at Fairbanks. And uh, one of the things that he is monitoring is uh, he's looking for this invasive species. The last it was seen was down in Higgins Passage, BC. And uh, we do not want to find this in our crab pot. What's happening is it's making its way up. They uh, believe that it came over to this, the West Coast in the ballast of a cargo ship. So everything else that we get in there is called bycatch. So what we will do with that bycatch, we look with, work with a couple other researchers that uh, are looking at the health of the subtidal zone. And that health of the subtidal zone means what's happening. So a couple years ago, they noticed that we had a wasting sea star syndrome. And so that's one of the things they look at. Are we getting sea stars back in the pot? And so that bycatch basically tells the health of the subtidal zone. And so uh, we'll turn in that information, we'll take pictures, we'll document it, that kind of thing, uh, to see what the bycatch is. <laughs> Are you already recording? I am just to sort of get the lay of the land, so to speak. Because it's not a very big, it's not a very big boat. <laughs>
<laughs> Thank you so much. We had such a great time. Good. There are bears up there. Yeah, I don't, I don't really know what they're bears for. But, but those doing the train, um, you know, if you're going up the train first, sit on the left side if you like heights. If you don't like heights, I don't recommend sitting on the left, on the left side. side. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Anyway, it, that's a great ride. You guys uh, just enjoy, enjoy the rest of your time here in Alaska. And uh, Thank you. Um, thank you so much.